the last seven years, Andrea Sloan has fought ovarian cancer with everything she has. BMN 673 can have saved her life. BioMarin won't let her have it. Andrea Sloan. Andrea Sloan. Is Andrea Sloan is an attorney and executive director for the Texas Advocacy Project. Andrea Sloan is fighting a seven-year battle against ovarian cancer and losing. I've had several rounds of traditional chemotherapy. I've had two full rounds of radiation. I've had five major surgeries. All of that in seven years? Yes. Sloan's oncologist, Dr. Charles Levenbach, right. says she That'd needs something new. He thinks her best hope for survival is an experimental drug, not yet approved by the FDA, called BMN 673. BMN 673 is manufactured by BioMarin, a large pharmaceutical company based in San Rafael. This represents new hope for you. Uh, amazing new hope, yes. The problem? Sloan can't get into a clinical trial for that drug. But the FDA does offer another route for patients like Sloan, something called compassionate use, which allows drug companies to offer experimental drugs outside of clinical trials to desperately ill patients. So Sloan and Dr. Levenbeck asked BioMarin for the drug. And so far, BioMarin keeps saying no. The company's released a statement to the Huffington Post. They say, quote, as a company, we do support pre-approval expanded access programs. Just explain to us what those kinds of programs are and why they won't give, give them to you if they claim to support them. I'm not sure why BioMarin, um, on the one hand, says that they support compassionate use and on the other hand, um, communicates to me and my doctors that they do not have a compassionate use policy. I don't know that. This company basically um, has not been forthcoming with its reasons about why it won't make the drug available, uh, but it will not make the drug available. Sloan's Twitter campaign directed at BioMarin has now gotten the attention of people like Winona Judd and Newt Gingrich. Her petition drive on change.org has collected more than 30,000 signatures. You've got 30,000 signatures. How important has this sort of social media movement been for you to get attention on this? I think it is sort of pressing the need for companies to start um, having some meaningful policies around this and other issues because what they do not want is thousands of grassroots campaigns like this um, lobbying them you know for access to their medications. We need to help them develop real and meaningful policies that are easily navigable by patients and their and their physicians um, in extreme circumstances like mine when there truly is no other hope.